Hi friends, Simit here from informtrades.com. This video comes from a member of our community, ADVFN2828. He's day trading the dollar Canada pair on a 15 minute chart in this video. He enters a short trade based on you know your standard uh, technical analysis logic, sees the price action as well as some news that's coming out and modifies his trade accordingly. So I think uh, something we can learn from this video is sort of how to modify a trade or things to look for that can cause us to modify a trade when we're in it. Uh, and if you have any questions about this or would like to discuss with us, just head on over to informtrades.com. Thanks and enjoy. Good morning, all. This is Graham, ADVFN2828 from informtrades.com. Just looking at a trade here on the dollar CAD. Uh, essentially, what we've got is a trend line up here, uh, which has just been uh, touched for the third time in rejection. Put an entry order just below this candle as it was forming, which is now taken. Stop is around 29 pips, limit around 60 pips, which is essentially this uh, support in here. So a 2 to 1 risk to reward ratio. Um, the only thing we need to really be looking out for to a large degree is on the news front, we have some uh, CAD core CPI coming in at about uh, 12 o'clock, so it's four hours time. Otherwise, nothing else really should theoretically at least uh, cause any major issues to this pair in the next few hours. So. Uh, that's what I'm looking at, and I'm going to put the video on hold now to see how that transpires. Okay, the time now is uh, just gone one o'clock in the afternoon, my lunch break here at work, and I just wanted to go back into this uh, dollar CAD and show you what happened here. Effectively, what um, you recall I was playing was this uh, bounce from the trend line, but effectively, what happened was, as you can see, that there was a fair bit of um and ahhing going on as far as this pair was concerned and I really don't like to see that when I'm playing a bounce what I want to see really is this kind of move a fairly strong and consistent uh, move so because of all this consolidation um, you could argue possibly a pennant there uh, I was really not comfortable so I decided around about here to effectively close this trade off for something like a 22 pence profit I'll break even for one of a better way of putting it um, so essentially, let's have a look at what happened. If you then scroll along, you'll see that price did in fact go up. And the reason for this, I suspect, was the CPI news and the Canadian dollar, which is slightly worse than expected. No likelihood of an increase in interest rates or anything like that, perhaps. Um, and maybe that's what caused that hike. Anyway, it broke through the trend line, immediately reversed. But now, as you can see, price this is up to live has, has broken out through that uh, that trend line. Now, I'm not probably going to play this because I'll be back to work fairly soon, so I don't really want to be entering trades when I can't really do much about it. So I'm going to leave that one alone. But I think that's probably a good example there of managing a trade to prevent loss and um, an unnecessary loss based on the price action alone. So I hope you found that useful. Thanks for watching.